What he did is, I can't even fathom the words to say it, okay? Let's because we opened up our hearts and our homes to him. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. Minneapolis, Minnesota is best known for places like the Mall of America and cultural landmarks like the Walker Arts Center. It's a beautiful place that offers a mix of city and suburban life. With over 10,000 lakes, there are plenty of parks and outdoor activities for the family to enjoy. Job opportunities are endless here, and many would say the quality of life is great. That is, if you can make it through the brutal Minnesota winters. 42-year-old Keisha Moore was well adapted to cold winters. Originally from Harvey, Illinois, she made the south side of Minneapolis her home. Keisha was beautiful, smart, ambitious, and a complete go-getter. She was a small business owner and she loved to travel. She honestly just really enjoyed life. She was the type of woman that worked hard for everything that she had and she had no problem treating herself and playing just as hard. Keisha was in a relationship with 50-year-old Johnny Brown. The two had been dating for almost two years and the relationship was rocky right from the start. At the forefront of the couple's problems was Johnny's constant infidelity. He was the type of man that couldn't be faithful. He just couldn't. There was almost always another woman in the shadows or in the background somewhere. Now don't get me wrong, Johnny was a player, but the couple had good times together. And throughout the two years, there were times when Johnny was a good guy. But in the end, he always fell back into his old habits. By December of 2023, Keisha was just sick of it. She was sick of worrying about where he was, what he was doing, who he was with. She was ready to end the relationship. And Johnny wasn't having it. Keisha had no idea she was dealing with a man that had a history of assault charges. And six prior protection and restraining orders against him. In one previous report, an ex-girlfriend claimed that Johnny pulled a gun on her and he fired it into the air. In other words, Johnny was a live wire and he had no intentions of letting Keisha go. On December 17th of 2023, police received a 911 call from Johnny stating that he had just shot his girlfriend. He claimed he and Keisha were arguing and she pulled a gun on him. He said after he wrestled the gun out of her hands, he accidentally bumped the trigger and it went off. He went on to say he believed she was dead. He then provided the address to police and hung up the phone. When police arrived, they found Keisha's lifeless body with a gunshot wound to the head and Johnny was long gone. They later learned that he left in Keisha's vehicle, discarded the weapon, and he discarded the telephone that he used to call police. The next morning, he went to the phone shop, got a new phone, and changed his telephone number. Police weren't buying Johnny's story to begin with because the evidence, it just wasn't adding up. So they questioned Keisha's family and they learned that the couple had been arguing for most of the day. And they had been arguing because Keisha found out that Johnny was up to no good again. He had been cheating. So she asked him to leave. I mean, at this point, she was just done. She was tired of the cheating. She was just sick of him. Police say once she asked him to leave and he realized that she was serious and that she may be gone for good, it was over. He grabbed a weapon and he shot her in the head. After the murder, Johnny called one of Keisha's family members. He told the family member that he messed up bad and that he had killed Keisha. He also stated that he was going to turn himself in to authorities shortly, which of course he never did. But the following day, he was pulled over in a traffic stop. He was pulled over driving Keisha's car with his new girlfriend in the vehicle and he was taken into custody. Once he was questioned, he claimed that he couldn't remember anything that happened during the altercation with Keisha because he had been drinking so much that everything was foggy. Now to developments in a murder case that shocked a quiet neighborhood. Prosecutors today charged Johnny Leroy Brown with shooting and killing his girlfriend. Police found 43-year-old Kesha Moore dead inside her apartment in Linden Hills earlier this week. Investigators say that Brown had called 911 saying her gun accidentally went off during a fight. 
but Minneapolis police didn't buy that. They let her track Brown's cell phone and caught him in a car with a new girlfriend. Court records show he has a history of domestic violence. Keisha's family was absolutely devastated by this tragedy, and they vowed to get justice for their loved one. Our top story this hour, killed in an apparent case of domestic violence, the family of Keisha Moore is demanding justice. Sunday night, Moore was found shot to death in her Linden Hills apartment. Now her boyfriend is facing charges for her murder. Paul Bloom is live in the newsroom after what was an emotional day for the victim's family. Paul. Randy and Amy, Keisha Moore's family is reeling here. A large group of her loved ones showed up for the defendant's first court appearance today. Some driving into town from three hours away to be there for support. Tonight, they are asking themselves, how could someone so close be accused of causing so much pain? Everybody who came in contact with Keisha loved her. Her family loved her. She was a pillar in the family. Keisha Moore's murder has shattered her tight-knit family just days before Christmas as they hugged and held each other tight right after court on Thursday. As Keisha is a person who believes in giving back, and um, I'm devastated. Deborah Moore explains she spent many, many years supporting and advocating for victims of intimate partner violence. And then for this to happen to her daughter, allegedly at the hands of longtime boyfriend Johnny Brown, she is numb. What he did is, I can't even fathom the words to say it, okay? Let's because we it. opened up our hearts and our homes to him. The 50-year-old Brown has a history of criminal convictions for assault and weapons violations, as well as a half dozen or so orders for protection filed against him. He's accused of shooting Moore in the head in the apartment they had shared in Linden Hills on Sunday night. According to court filings, Moore lied to authorities about what happened, claiming Moore pulled the gun out first, then blaming alcohol and an escalating fight over his supposed cheating. Moore made a brief appearance before a judge in the public safety facility where Moore's family wanted him to see her face on their shirts as a reminder of the beautiful soul he's accused of stealing from all who loved her. Our pain, our agony, our suffering, not good at all. We want, we want justice for Keisha. We want the max. We want the max. Long live Keisha. This case is still ongoing, so we don't yet know the outcome for Johnny, but I'm sure that he'll get exactly what he deserves. Keisha, oh man, my heart just goes out to her entire family. She definitely did not deserve to lose her life like that. I mean, if Johnny wanted to see other people, why not just stay single? It just, it honestly makes no sense to me. It's just crazy how quick someone will take your life because you no longer want to be a pawn in the game that they're playing. It's just sick and it's devastating. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship, please create an out plan and use the quickest, safest way possible to leave. Once you are gone, do not turn back. Turning back can cost you your life. As always, loves, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for future content.